morning and welcome to this vlog. I think some of you might already know that I'm working in Tokyo as a freelance digital marketer. Um, but I've only moved to Tokyo a few months ago, so until now I've basically worked from home sometimes. Sometimes I've gone to some cafes to work. And now I'm considering having a regular membership in a co-working space. Before I commit to any one single co-working space, I thought I would test some places out. All of the places that I'm going to test are in Shibuya. If you've worked in a co-working space in Tokyo, uh, especially in Shibuya, I'd be very interested to know um, if there's a space that you really love or have loved when you lived uh, in Tokyo in the past. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. The first co-working space is called Andwork and it operates in the same building with a hotel called The Millennials. The hotel lobby acts as a more relaxed part of the co-working space and it's also meant for eating and socializing. If you're on a daily or a monthly plan, you can also drink free beer here during the daily happy hour. One floor below the lobby is the actual dedicated co-working space. Here they have a small kitchen nook with a fridge, kettle and a selection of tea, but coffee you'll need to bring from the lobby. If you want to use the meeting room, you'll have to pay some extra, but the phone booths are included in the price. And work also offers some unique services, such as the possibility to take a shower or a power nap. The second co-working space I tried is called Share Lounge. It's located in a Staya bookstore in the Shibuya Scramble Square building. The food and beverage options here are quite outstanding, including many different hot and cold drink options, alcoholic drinks if you pay some extra, a selection of smoothies, different kind of dried fruits, nuts and veggie snacks. They even have a soft ice machine, buns filled with cream and some croissant waffle dough so that you can make fresh croissant waffles. They also have a wall filled with instant soups and different kind of snacks. They have different kinds of areas depending on whether you're wanting to relax and chat with someone or focus on your work in silence. They also have laptop stands and other office knickknacks that you can borrow. During lunch I decided to try and see if it's possible to sustain myself with just snacks. So I chose to have some spicy quadro cream soup pasta, curry flavoured potato crisps, dried fruits and nuts and a smoothie and a matcha cream bun. I did feel full after eating, but I wouldn't say it was the healthiest meal, so I wouldn't really recommend doing this on a regular basis. It's getting close to nine, so I've been working here for the whole day. And I have to say, it is a very nice place. There's a really large selection of snacks that you can have. I got myself a tiny cup of ice cream. <laughs> you can choose from an alcohol package. I took an alcohol package. 
but they have also loads of different beers and alcoholic drinks that you can have. In terms of like the working setup, I think it's quite nice. You, they have like some stands for your laptop if you want to take a stand. I think you can also rent a screen. I'm not sure how much it costs, but I've seen some people who have screens. So. I would say that towards the evening, this place gets a bit more busy. So there's clearly a lot more people and people who come only for a short while. So people who just stay for one or two hours and have loads of snacks while they're here. Because I was filming and wanted to try loads of different snacks, I didn't go and have a proper lunch today. And I have to say, I didn't feel that good after just snacking. Definitely have a proper lunch. <laughs> even if you decide to come here every day. Good morning, um, today I will have another busy day, I will go see one more co-working space before deciding which co-working space I'm going to go with on the longer term. So today I'm going to go see a space owned by WeWork, they have a space in the Sibria Scramble Square building, but on their website um, they don't tell you at all how much it would cost to use their space. So I just booked a tour to see the office and I assume that then they will make me an offer. Shela was really nice and I actually uh, preferred it over the previous place that I tried. Of course, it has a lot nicer views and also the snack options are a lot better. It is also more expensive, but I thought that I want to really enjoy the space where I'm working at. The only thing that I didn't like about the share lounge was that the chairs were okay but especially since I was sitting on the same chair for many many hours I did kind of start feeling like the chairs might not be the best for me on a longer term and it might cause some back pains. I'll see how I feel today and then I'll work for the rest of the day um, somewhere. <laughs>
ロさん。いただきます。Actually, really, really good. Wow, <laughs> so good. I would say that out of all the snacks that I've had here, this is definitely the best. So earlier, I went to see that we were space, and it was really nice. I think the top floor was、uh, the forty-fifth floor. These were so so nice. I didn't even know that you can see、uh, Tokyo Tower from Shibuya, but、uh, apparently you can. They had like several floors, and in all of the floors you have a separate kind of like lounge that's more relaxed. But they also had like separate、uh, rooms. In the main lounge, they also had a small cafe、uh, where you can buy lunch. They had beer taps,、uh, and apparently all of the beer taps are included in the price as well. I was very interested in kind of like the communal. Aspect. So they also have、uh, several events,、uh, like almost every week. Especially since I'm kind of like looking to speak more Japanese with Japanese people, that would probably be very nice. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in trying it out. So they had different plans. If you're a single person, you can only have your own desk, or then you can have a plan that allows you to go to whichever we we work around the world. Uh, but you don't have your own desk. The price difference was quite substantial. If you wanted your own desk, that would have cost over 1,000 euros per month. Whereas if you have the deal where you don't have your own desk, it was a bit over 300 euros. So I'm considering taking the deal where I wouldn't have my own desk.、Uh, it will probably also be nice since to try other we work spaces since they have quite a few around Tokyo. And of course, like if、uh, if we happen to go somewhere else in Europe. Or other countries, I would also be able to use the, those locations as well. And actually, now they had an offer: you get minus 25% off for the first three months. So yeah,、um, let's see.